Our top story this morning, the White House blasting the release of over 90,000 U.S. military records. This is huge. What is this website and who is Julian Assange? Even I don't know the identity of our sources. He's bigger than the Times. He's a huge media empire that's accountable to no one. One of the main reasons I really wanted to do this was to explore this extraordinary enterprise of free information. The press has always been known as the fourth estate. The fifth estate has emerged recently, and it represents the brave new world of citizen journalism in the internet age. It's a story about the rise of this new idea that information could be transformed by being published in its raw form. Give a man a mask, and he will tell you the truth. The internet has changed everything. It's forcing systems to reorganize. The tyrants of this world should beware. This is not a documentary. In the case of WikiLeaks, there already exist a number of really, really good documentaries laying out the facts and the chronology of what happened in this case. That's not what we're doing. We're presenting the bigger issues. And the attempt was never to say, oh, this is it. This is the right way to look at this material. It was to show all sides of a complicated issue in the form of a journalistic thriller. The future has just begun. The Fifth Estate tells of a friendship between Daniel Tom Scheitberg and Julian Assange. This bank is hiding billions of dollars in offshore accounts. We're going to nail those bastards. Former head of Iceland's biggest bank has been accused of fraud. It's a very intense journey. We took down a billion dollar bank. <laughs> this is crazy. They were nobodies, computer nerds, and then becoming famous very, very quickly. And then it all went wrong. This is the biggest leak of classified information in history. You lied to everyone. You lied to me. There are lives at risk here. The movie it doesn't really come down on one side or the other when it comes to deciding whether transparency in the form of WikiLeaks is, is, is good or bad. We're on the verge of a major international crisis. He's not a journalist. He's a threat to national security. Well, the story's not over. The story's not over. This is information the world needs to know. If you want the truth, you should seek it out for yourself. That's what they're afraid of. You.